In this video, we're going to talk about positively skewed distributions. So over here on the right, we have our um, raw scores, our X's. So we have um, people scoring in our um, variable here is quiz grades. So we're looking at how well did this class do on um, the last quiz. So in our X's, we have some people getting zeros. Maybe they just didn't know we had a quiz that day, so they didn't show up. And so 10 of them got a zero, nine of them got only a 10%, eight got 20%. Um, no one got 100%, only one person scored in the 90s or 90%. So um, again, with positively skewed distribution, you would think, okay, positive means um, happy, right, or good. Well, sometimes it, we'll, we'll figure out. Um, you'll see it doesn't necessarily always mean good. So again, positively skewed distribution. So we had no one get um, a score of 100, but we had one person get a score of 90. So that's going to be up like that. And we had Two people get a score of 80, so it kind of climbs a little bit, right? And then we had three people get a 70, right? We had four people get a 60, and then um, five people get a 50. And again, this is continuous data, so it's going to be a histogram. Um, because all the lines are, are touching it, it indicates that we're dealing with continuous data. Scores would be um, continuous because it, it one runs right into the other. Um, we had, let's see here, four people, no. Um, yeah, four people get a 60, um, 40%. We're on uh, six people got a 40%. And seven people got a 30%. Eight people got a 20% and nine people got um, a 10%, and then a, ooh, that's a lot. Okay, 10 people got zeros. And again, this would be um, kind of colored in, indicating that we're dealing with a histogram with continuous uh, variables. So this is, again, a positively skewed distribution because when you draw the line on the top of the graph and drag it down, it's pointing towards the positive end of the number line. Again, number line starts with zero in the middle. Um, any numbers going this way are gonna be positive numbers. Any numbers going this way are gonna be a negative numbers. So while it does say the word positive, in this case, it's actually a bad thing. The students in the class would say this, this quiz was, was terrible and it was a very hard quiz and it would be um, a bad thing, right? We had a lot of people not score very, very high. So this is an example of when a positively skewed distribution, because again, it, the, the tail, um, the, the middle part of the distribution is like right here, right? So this is what we call the body of the distribution where the bulk of the, the data is gonna be piling up, right? And over here is the tail where the scores kind of start tapering off. Um, uh, this is, you know, we, we only had a very, very few people score in the A or B range, and the bulk of the people scored in, in the failing range. So while this is a positively skewed distribution, it would be considered a bad or a hard test.